You, you don't want me to join them dancing. Well, I will do my dancing in the spirit. Don't worry. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Viewers, all over the world. This is uh, Saturday weekend. The Lord used this grace to draw his people instead of going to you know where you normally this is wicked I think uh, the presence of God is much 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 better hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. we was thank you for your time and you know you have cancelled many appointments because you want to join us thank you thank you it's so it's much profitable it's much profitable hallelujah Amen. well i i want to appeal to the people that are waiting to share their testimony and uh, we have been listening to the testimony i was thinking uh, I was just asking the weather to, to, to slow a bit because it's becoming warm, too warm because of the number of people in the church. Well, I think weather too is a servant of God. He's doing his own work because we have some crop that also require for warm weather. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, yes, <clears throat> last week we talked about faith and I think we continue this because uh, even going by our testimony, sometimes when you listen to people's testimony, you realize that uh, they are, they were, the content of their testimony is sometimes uh, the misusing of words of faith. Hallelujah. Mm, last week we talked about faith, what is faith? So let's quickly look at what the Bible says about faith. Only faith places Jesus. I will take that message from there. Only faith places Jesus. That will be the title of the message. <clears throat> Only faith places Jesus. Hallelujah. Only faith places Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you there? On the faith, please, Jesus. Let's take a look at uh, the book of Mark. The book of Mark 11. Only faith, please, Jesus. Now, when they drove near Jerusalem to Bethphage and Bethna at the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples. I think tomorrow you talk. I mean, tomorrow you talk about that. Mm, yes, verse two. And he said to them, "Go into the village." opposite yours opposite you take note and uh, as soon as you have entered it you will find a cup tied let me take you to that verse uh, quickly go to the what we are about to talk about today verse 22 verse 22 so Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in what? Have faith in God. Wow. We say only faith pleases Jesus. Only faith pleases God. He said, Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. 23. For a child lived. I said to you, whoever said to this mountain, 
take notes. In, in, in place of Monte, you can put your challenges and whatever. Whoever said to this Monte, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart. Mm. Take note. But believes that those things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. Mm. Whatever he says. Have faith in God. That is just say because only faith places him. He say have faith in God. Only because only faith places him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last meeting I was I was telling you about faith that faith means believing believing in who believing in God that he will do what he has what eh? what he has said what he has said what he has said whether your faith is great or small the issue is if he has promised whether your faith is great or small is not the issue the issue is if he has promised are you are you with me i take it again it's a faith believing in god that he will do what he has said whether your faith is great or small is not the issue the issue is if god has promised he will not lie will he lie and change if he has promised he will give this will he lie and change because your faith is because your faith is tough yeah I take it again faith believing in God that he would do what he has said whether your faith is great or small it's not the issue the issue is if God has promised will he lie and change because your faith is what does this mean now mean we do not need great faith but great God that's it this means we do not need great faith but great God your neighbor this may you do not need great faith but great work what is lacking is not great faith but a great God I take it back again only faith places him only faith places Jesus what is lacking in the ministry today it's not great faith but a great God have faith in God our things are possible you need to know 
the faithfulness and trustworthiness of God. Simple. If God has not promised anything, if God has not promised anything, how can we know that He is faithful? He must promise something before we can talk about His faithfulness. He must what? He must promise something before we can talk about his faithfulness. His faithfulness. He said, His faithfulness is forevermore. His faithfulness is forevermore. He must promise something. If he has not promised anything, how can you know that he is faithful? He must promise something before you can talk about his faithfulness. If, if the, the, the book of Mark 11 says, have faith in God, verse 22, this means God is the source of our faith. Means God is the giver of our faith. That God is source of our faith does not mean that He gives us faith. He merely gives us faith, but we have faith. Increase in faith through Him. The fact that God is the source, the fact that God is the giver of our faith does not mean merely that he gives faith to us but we have faith men have faith men increase in faith through him because it's the source of our faith men have faith men increase in faith through him because it's the source of our faith. How? It's easy to just increase your faith through him. To have faith through him, simple. Because he possess a nature that make it easy for men to trust in him. What are the nature? The last, so last month I was telling you that read your Bible with devotion because it is purifying because it has a purifying power the Bible that is one nature of God. God possess a nature that makes it easy for you to trust God. When you read your Bible with devotion, attentively, slowly, repeatedly, It has a purifying power. It is enduring. It has a healing power here. It's nature of God. It 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 keeps one from error and sin. May you read with devotion. Your heart is troubled, but it gladdens our heart. May you read with devotion. Ha! 
have faith in God. It it gladdens our heart. It rejoices our heart. Make your heart, you know, the human spirit when free, when it is free, take note, human spirit, when it is free, is sensitive to God's spirit. That when your spirit is free, there is nothing like, oh, I am in trouble, this, where am I going, what am I going to eat tomorrow, how will I eat, where am I going, I'm tired, my business is failing, I have pain, you know, all this are weight on the spirit, I'm tired, I don't know what I will hear today. When, when your spirit is free, it's sensitive to God's spirit, that it alive to God's spirit. Alive, you know when you say something is alive, very friendly, you love the spirit of God. But because your spirit is, it, it has so much trouble, you think so much hindrance, hindrance, so it's not difficult for you to uh, uh, no 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 but when that spirit is free if your spirit is free nobody will tell you when you you know very sensitive to god's word god's spirit very very sensitive to god's spirit but if it is what if it is trouble, it loses sensitivity, sensitiveness. It loses immediately. When it's trouble, then it becomes a useless instrument. Very, very useless instrument. That is the spirit. <clears throat> we are talking of faith. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Only faith places him. If God is the source of our faith, is the source of our faith? Is the source of our faith? Faith is a spiritual force. Faith in God. I'm not saying that I feel faith in you, faith in yourself, faith in your this, faith in your that, faith in this, faith in miracle, faith in deliverance, faith in this. But faith in God is quite different. That is faith in the finished work of our Lord Jesus. No, healing is a past tense issue. It's not something that I believe, okay, I, I, I play my role, I'm faithful now. It must also give me what I want to know. No, no, you are not faithful to, to, for him to do what you want. He has done it. It's available, it's finished. Just believe and say thank you. You know, he said, no, they say I should, thou shalt not smoke, and I stop smoking, and I'm obedient now, I stop going to club, and righteous, and okay. Okay, God, it is your turn to do your, because he said, um, love and be love. Be kind and be and receive kindness. That is a reward. So the case of God is, oh, I'm kind now. I'm faithful now. I've stopped smoking. I've stopped going to club. I've stopped all those nonsense. No, I'm. My business must. Mm, everything must. Mm. You are done wait. Okay, I'll play my role. No. You are not doing that so that God will do it. So no, He has done it already. It has been done. Not now. Take notes. So when you have played your role, all you did, thank you, Jesus. I believe. Thank you, Jesus. Now we are talking of faith. Faith is a spiritual force. 
that develops and grow in the heart or spirit of man. Take note the word heart and the word spirit. Let's go to the Bible and see what is different. Is it the same thing we are talking about in the Bible? We are not talking of, we are not in the laboratory where you, you can say, oh, heart, spirit. But this is church. This is, let's see what the Bible says about heart, spirit. Let's look at First Peter chapter 3, verse 4. Are you there? About the heart and spirit. Rather, let it be the hidden what? The hidden where? The hidden person of the heart. With incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is very very precious in the sight of God take your time to read when we are talking of heart we are talking of the spirit take this and when we are talking of the spirit we are talking of the heart tell your neighbor when we talk of heart in the church we are talking of the spirit. When we talk of the spirit, we are talking of the heart. So please don't, the issue of biology, science, mm, which is opposite to what you are saying, heart, spirit. When we talk of heart, we talk of the spirit. When we talk of spirit, we talk of heart. Take note that first Peter. Yes. Now we are talking of faith. What faith? is a spiritual force and we are we want to know how how it how faith is formed to become spiritual thought we we'll talk about that later because we are not talking of faith in yourself faith in tb joshua faith in in the same faith in apostle faith in the, the no faith in god the one that has no end, has no beginning. Faith in the one that the same yesterday to them forever. And I'm not the same yesterday to them forever. And I have end and I have beginning. Every apostle to have end, they have beginning. But Jesus has no end, has no beginning. Faith in him. Now, faith is a spiritual force that develops and grows in the heart or in the spirit of man. Take note. When you talk of spirit, you talk of heart. When you talk of heart, you talk of spirit. How can faith become a spiritual force? Force. When you say faith, if faith is not a spiritual force, force how can he live within your heart there is no way he could he can live within your heart there is no way he could abode within your heart there's no way he could occupy within your heart if faith is not a spiritual force any faith that is a faith that is not spiritual for come here here is commit in the memory like your your academic you go to school, you read, you memorize your book. Your academic issue is here. Bible is here. There's a place for Bible. There's a place for your book. That is why each time you are graduated, first degree, you are going for second degree, you forget about that one. Because if you carry that one again, your memory will not carry it. You have to, mm, you don't want to remember anything about first degree. You want to have second degree. It's faith, for faith to be spiritual force, 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 it must be here. This is why we say, yes. Okay, let's see how, how faith becomes spiritual force, force. Faith become 
become spiritual force. Let's look at the book of John 6, verse 63. It is the spirit who gives life, the flesh profit, profit nothing. The word that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. Wow. Who is talking there? Jesus. Jesus said, is where a spirit and life. If God's where a spirit and a spirit and life, it means Bible faith is spirit and life. The spirit. Bible faith. We are talking of Bible faith now, not faith in yourself, but Bible faith comes from God's word. And God's word is spirit. Can you see how it becomes a spiritual force? So it means if God's word is spirit, it means it has it 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 capable, it capable of cooking or spiritually cooking or spiritually it's capable cook to, uh, of cooking us yes It means since God's word is spirit, it has ability, ability to develop what we call spiritual force within our hearts called faith. That is, if God's word is spirit, this means it has ability, it capable to develop a spiritual force within our hearts called faith. How do we how do we have this gospel in our heart? If you consider God, take note of that. Your faith will spontaneously grow. That is naturally grow. Spontaneously. If you consider God's word, that is, if you look at God, look to God, and meditate on God, we will grow spontaneously. Spontaneously. That is how do we look to God? Look at God. When you think about what you read, that is, the more you think about what you read, the more familiar you become with his voice. You know, when you read your Bible, you begin to think about your business. Instead of think about the source of your business, after finishing reading the Bible, you just read, you put it down. The next thing you turn back, you begin to think of how your business will grow 
how they will pay that money in your, to your account, how they will not disappoint you, how the pain in your body. And instead of thinking about the source of those things, the source of your business, the source of your, your finances, the source of your, oh my God. Today, forget about your business, forget about everything. Think about the source. You take care of, of, of those things instead of taking care of your source. The source of, you take care of your money, you take about your money, you, you, when money comes, you forget about the source. It's like a stream water that comes from river. You just see water, you drink water, you begin to die, you drink water, you take care of the stream. Without, instead of going, trace the water to the, to the river. And they keep, if the river is dry, you can't get water here. Now, the more you think about what you read, the more you become familiar with his voice. Respond to him in dialogue. dialogue. Respond to who? God in dialogue. More importantly, to listen than to speak. More importantly to do, to listen than to work, than to speak. But you want to speak, Jesus is loud, I'm born again. Instead of you to, be, to, con to consider and pay attention to the word of God first and be pregnant. If you don't have anything here, what will you speak out? If you consider God more, more about God, consider God's word. You will spontaneously grow in faith. You see, faith is natural. It's, it's what? Natural. It's natural. It's natural. It's natural. It, 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 it is a trust. It, 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 I mean, when I say it's, it, 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 it's, it's natural, I mean, it, it's, faith is something. It's not, it's not something produced within. It's not something produced within, produ manufactured within. It's natural. It, 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 it's, it, it, it's not something. It's not. It is a trust that arises out of the fact that the other party is honest, trustworthy, faithfulness. It is what? It is a trust that arises out of the fact that the other party is honest, trustworthy, reliable, stable. Out of the fact that the other party is honest, trustworthy, reliable, stable. Who? Jesus. It's only Jesus that is reliable, stable. I mean, only Him, only God. Only God is reliable, suitable. Honest, just, just name it. So this is the one 
you can commit yourself and your things to because it's honest that is faith faith means committing yourself and things to someone else smarter clever wiser powerful than you That's faith for you. Faith is committing yourself and your things to someone else. Smarter, more clever, wiser, powerful than you. And Jesus is the one that's smarter than me. Jesus is the one that's powerful. Than me. Jesus is the one that's smarter than me, clever than me. The same to you. So I'm trying to to get you have faith. Because the grammar they speak everywhere concerning faith is too much. And you get confused. Remember tomorrow is service. This is lesson you take home. Never ask yourself, do I have faith? Am I have sufficient faith? I don't have faith. That is why I'm not receiving. No. You are not the basis of faith. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You are not the basis of faith. You are not the basis of faith. What you have seen in life, your experiences in the past, a lot of hindrance and all do that will have claimed your life and the Lord saved you. That shows you that God is reliable. Then faith comes. The moment the, 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 when you realize God is reliable, faith comes. That is faith for you. Oh, God is reliable. I will have been in the graveyard. Oh my God. Yes, you can still do it again, again, and again, and again, and again. Here you are looking freely, talking freely, sitting freely. By what authority were you? Are you able to sit freely, talking freely, looking at me freely? Many are in the sea, on the seabed looking for opportunity to sit like you many are eating their enemy food because they have no choice they are on the sea bed they have no choice anybody that give them food they will eat it is their enemy that turn them right left because they cannot turn them but themselves because of the disease and sickness somebody has to come there and turn their body somebody has to come there and bath somebody has to come there and toward them but here you are. You can't eat your enemy food. You have choice. Here you are. You can say no. No, I don't like this. Because you have that enablement. Tell your neighbor, God is reliable. This is what David said to his brother, to the king. When he met, when he, when he, when he, when he was called, to, 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 to take food to his brother in the war front, a rusty boy, 
he saw his brother frightening afraid he said what happened to you people he said ah, look at this giant man he has been threatening or he wants to kill us he has killed many of us oh david said ah who is giant let me tell you god is reliable god helped me to use my hand to keep bear the brother said huh you have never mentioned this to me i use this hand to keep beer by the help of god can this man keep beer if i can keep beer and tear beer with my hand who is this giant the brother said are you sure what you are saying <laughs> remember david was a cattle rearer it's not in theology school he was not coming from theology school he was not a bishop or he was not a pastor joshua he was just a cattle rearer just go to the bush and but suddenly because god is reliable and he has seen the traces what what god has done for him in the past god is reliable his faith grow spontaneously his faith grew spontaneously that he hear oh with the help of god i will kill this man with the help of god i will defeat this man that is faith he was not studied bible he was not he was in the bush they called him from the bush that's a small boy because he said he has seen god he has realized god is reliable god is trustworthy he said hey i'm just want to kill there yeah. when he got to the king they said okay go and meet the king so the king can dress you to fight the war when he got to the king he said you, you are too small you want to fight the giant he said yes okay have the armor and wear it when he wore the armor he could not move can say could you see, can, can you could you see now that you will not be able to stand the giant he said please i don't need giant i don't need armor he removed the armor and dropped it and said i only need catapult and stone a stone you want to fight a giant with catapult and what stone so never ask yourself do i have faith remember what happened in the past how god saved your life from a danger that will have claimed your life remember how god rescued you in the past remember how you are restored in the past when you remember this you will know god is trustworthy is reliable then faith come spontaneously say spontaneously thank you thank you thank you so i hope the, your problem with the faith is solved that you don't need to be huh? You, huh? Mm -hmm. so each time you remember faith remember david from the from the from the bush he came from the bush with the, the little boy he was not a pastor remember what happened to you in the past how god rescued you in a situation that will have claimed your life remember the sickness that will have killed you and which has killed many but here you are today working freely looking freely remember the attack the poison that will have claimed your life but here you are when you remember all this you agree with me that god is reliable you can still rely on him then faith spontaneously so say i have no faith do i have enough faith you don't need enough faith you need great god what we are lacking 
is not great faith, but a great God. Because faith is natural. We need to know his faithfulness and trustworthy. In the past, what happened? In the past, how you here you are? What? Claim many people lie has happened to you. What has had claimed many people lie had has happened to you? But here you are. Tell your neighbor what had claim any people life had happened to you has happened to me here I am today looking freely sitting freely walking freely talking freely God is reliable if God is reliable what is that me faith you have faith me faith has come when the moment you know ah, god is reliable he has done this for me before and now i need that thing now he can still do it god is reliable faith comes that is how faith comes and it spontaneously grow rise up Draw me close to you. Draw me close to you, Lord Jesus. Never let me go. Open your heart now. Faith comes. Faith can come now. from the spirit consider where we are coming from remember when your spirit is free and I know your spirit is free now is sensitive to God's spirit now it's like you are forgetting everything all the other crisis you have where you are coming from the trouble you have been facing in the past it's like your spirit is free now and when one spirit is free, it's sensitive to what? To God, it attracts God's spirit. Like magnet. When your spirit is free, and you have nothing to think, you are just free. Oh, now I'm free. Oh. It will attract God's spirit. So the song now will connect you freely. Open your spirit. It need to cry, whatever you need to do. Please submit yourself now. Submit yourself. Your spirit is free. I know it's free. Ninety-nine percent of us here, their spirit is free now. Yeah. Now, it is time to attract what? It is time to attract what? Okay, it is time. Yes. Draw me close to you, Lord Jesus. You 
help me find a way. Help me find a way. I want you to bring me back. Break every chain. 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 Break every ch
anywhere you are, viewers all over the world, you can hear chain falling, chain of affliction, chain of disappointment, sickness, disease, setback, career failure. You can hear chain falling, viewers at home. I can hear your chain falling. Chain, chain of affliction, setback, disappointment, career failure, limitation in progress, financial trouble, barrenness. You hear chain falling? I can hear your voice. Hallelujah. Open your list, open your list. Let's start in a different way before we, we move around. Yes, because your spirit is charged now. Your spirit is charged. I'm standing here in the name of Jesus. Whatever spirit of infirmity. I'm standing here on the holy mountain and I command that spirit of infirmity in your life. Ow! I say you spirit of infirmity. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. You must be separated from that spirit today. Your spirit must be free. I say your spirit must be free. Whatever body, 
weight, trouble on your spirit, be loose. Be loose. Be loose. Open your lips and begin to lose, 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 lose. Lose. In the name of Jesus. Whatever spirit. Let me touch you. This is the finger of God in your life. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. Be The finger of God. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. From every spirit of infirmity, be loose. I say, be loose.
Watch your screen. Watch your screen. Say below. Begin to lose it from your business. Lose it in your career. Lose it. Lose it. Lose it. Lose it. Lose it. In your career. In your business. In your finances. Lose. 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 You want to open your lips? Those spirits that rob you, peace, that rob you, happiness, joy of the Lord, those spirits that rob you, financial breakthrough, those spirits that rob you, happiness, good health. Begin to lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them. Those spirits. Lose, 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 lose. Jesus Christ. Can you face your neighbor and uh, get his hand hold, the two hands, and say, whatever spirit that, that robs you, the joy of the Lord, whatever spirit that are robbing you, the joy of the Lord, be loose in the name of Jesus. Be loose. 
Jesus. I stand in the name of Jesus to lose the spirit. In the name of Jesus, be loose. 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 Be Whatever spirit that is robbing you, that disturbing your peace, that disturbing your joy, whatever spirit that disturbing your joy, that disturbing your peace, that disturbing your happiness, that disturbing your peace, that disturbing your good health, that disturbing your sleep. Whatever spirit, whatever spirit that disturbing your joy, that disturbing your joy, that disturbing your peace, that disturbing your happiness, that disturbing your good health, I lose it in the name of Jesus. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Whatever spirit, All over the world, begin to lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them. Begin to lose them, lose them. I can see the chain being loose. I can see the chain being losing. In the name of Jesus, I can see the chain being loose. Be loose. I can see those 
watching being loose. I can see them 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 being loose. In the name of Say I can see them being loose. I can see the chains being loose. I can see the chains being loose. I can see the chain being loose. In the name of Jesus. Whatever chain, once again, when we get there, we'll let you know. We are, in the, we are, we are moving. We are moving forward. When we are close, I will let you know. Whatever shame, whatever spirit that disturb your peace, whatever spirit that disturb your happiness, whatever spirit that disturb your career, whatever spirit that disturb your destiny, whatever spirit that disturb your marital life, whatever spirit that disturb your good head, whatever spirit that disturb your business, whatever spirit that disturb your finances, be loose in the name of Jesus. Be loose in the name of Jesus. I can see the chain be loose. 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 Say be loose. In the name of Jesus. Shout in the name of Jesus. 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 There is power in the name of Jesus. There was all over the world. There was all over the world. We are there, you are here. Be with us. In the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Come on, open your mouth and declare there is power. Come on, come on, come on, say there is power in the name of Jesus. We know that there is power in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We know where it is. Break every chain. 
are not going to live here unless you are free. We are going to have 15 minutes break again and we come back again. I, 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 today, it will be in record in your life. We are going to have 15 to 20 minutes. Just break. Either you want to move around or you sit down or you want to take something, you just do what's at home too. You can move around and just, or you decided to sit down and get ready for the second. This, I don't know why God chose this service in this way. I, I, I wanted to move. I, I wanted to move in your midst, moving around. God says, stand here. I have given you authority. You will lose more than moving around. Lose the shame. Your people have so much shame. So much spirit that disturbing their peace. Their peace, their comfort is being tampered with. Yes, stand here and speak a word. If I send you to prophesy, you prophesy to nations, you see vision to the world. And all over the world you see the vision and always come to pass. And whatever you say it come to pass, the same authority now I'm giving you, say it to your people. So now we go for 15 to 30 minutes. We come back again. I'll come back. I will not wait for you when it is 20 minutes or 15 minutes. You see me here, we start again. But I don't know what God wants to do. Less for me, we just continue, continue. God says, don't stretch your people too much. This, this, is, this is absolute gift given to you. Yeah. Remember where we start? I can see chain being loose. This is what you are going to meditate in when you come back. I can see the chain of my poverty, chain of my affliction, chain of my self by being loosed. Continue to meditate. I can see them being loose. I can see them being loose. I can see them being loose. I can see the chains of affliction being loosed. And if the Son of God loose them, they are loose forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You sing for us. Say, go ahead, I'm going to leave you for 15 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. I'll come back, you can move around and go for break. We come back. It's not time for grace, but it's time we continue again. Yeah, yes, yes. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Come on, say there is power. Come on, declare that there is power. power. 